Hi everyone, Alex here. Continuing with our HVAC series. Today we're into Insight, but doing massing elements. So we're gonna create massing elements for our building study and also for the perimeter, which is just gonna be contextual stuff. So if you're ready, let's get to it. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. So now let's create our building massing. For that, I'm gonna duplicate this plan. I'm not gonna duplicate with detailing. I don't care about the annotations right now. I'm gonna rename this as level one floor plan massing, building massing. And now we come here to massing and site. And what we wanna do is an in place mass. But before doing that, we're gonna click here and we're gonna show mass forms and floors. We wanna make sure that that's active, right? And now we go in place mass. We're gonna give it a name. Let's do, for example, the south sector. Let's say this aisle here. So south sector. Now we're defining our profile. So I'm gonna do a rectangle. I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna click here. You wanna come here to create form and select solid form. And in plan view, you don't really see what happened, but if we go to a 3D view, notice that I actually have the mass still active. So I can make changes to it. So we can see that this box is a little bit too high, right? So if we wanna know the height of a building, we can go to any elevation, for example, the south elevation. And we can see that from ground to roof, we have 11,400. So let's go back here. And then I'm gonna place here that dimension, 11,400. And there you go, that's exactly our height. So now if you wanna finish the mass, you wanna wrap around it and like fix it, you just click finish mass and your mass is created. So that's my mass. See, I can select it, can hover over it. That's my mass. You can use this grips to modify it if you want to. See, if I wanna stretch it down, for example, that would be my new mass. See it right there? I'm gonna click undo to keep it the way it was. All right, so let's do another one. Let's do like the this mid section here. So I'm gonna come here to my level one floor plan. Again, mass in and site. Make sure show mass forms and floors is active. And then in place mass, I'm gonna call it mid sector. And then I'm gonna select my rectangle. I'm gonna do, doesn't really matter. Like you can eyeball it like from here to here. Then you can adjust it later, like everything in Revit. And now you wanna make sure that you create a form. You wanna create a solid form. Now we go to our 3D view. There it is. And let's say you make a mistake with the elevation. Let's say, by the way, you can, you can grab it from here and just drag it up. So let's say you had it like that, right? And by mistake, you just finish your mass and you say, you know what, I'm done. Boop. But then you realize that your mass is just too high compared to your building. You can do many things. You can you can grab it from here and actually see it kind of magnetically snaps to the height of a building. That's one option, right? That's the easiest option actually. You could also select the object and then do edit in place. And then you could take this guy and bring it down. You could do a line, you could select the plane just like we did before and put 11400 here. But I'm gonna do it just like we did before. I'm gonna grab it from here, grab it from this grip, and just snap it into place. Let's create another one here for the north sector. So I'm gonna go back to my floor plan view. Again, massing in sight. Make sure this is on, in place mass, north sector. Again, it's gonna be a rectangle. And this time I'm gonna grab it from here to here and I'm gonna create a solid form. 
go back to my 3D view. I could even turn off my Revit link for a moment. And see, this is still dark because I haven't finished the mass. So I can do finish mass. And those are my three masses. You can see that I, I had a, a little mistake here as far as the height. So what I'm gonna do, I can actually take it to the left view and I could grab it from here. And these are my levels right here. So I can simply come down and align it to the roof level and then take this guy and align it to the roof level. And now what I have is a massing representation of my building. I think I have a little structure around here that I'm missing, so let's do that. I'm gonna turn my red link back on. So I'm gonna take this 3D view that I currently have and I'm gonna rename it 3D HVAC. And I'm gonna create a complete different view, a brand new 3D view. I'm gonna close the old one. And I like this one better. You see how it's darker compared to this one. And this one by default was created under the discipline of mechanical. This other one was created under the discipline coordination. So everything's a little darker. So I like this one a little better. So let me close that. Now, let me, now let's make sure we can see our masses here. That's my mass right there. That's the other one, and this is the other one. So I'm gonna create one last one for this little piece of the building. So let's go back to level one. Now massing in sight, in place mass. This is gonna be, it's called the launch. And you could actually select the real building component, or you could do like, let's do like a rectangle here. Let's eyeball it like this, and you can align this one to this one and lock it this edge to this edge and lock it and then this edge to this edge and lock it and then this edge to this edge and lock it so that if the architect moves this wall five feet north then my mass would move with it so that's actually a good idea we should do that with the other masses as well so that it's a little bit more responsive to the architect's changes oh i actually need to create my mass right so i need to select my profile and then solid form let's go to our 3d view let's finish the mass so we see it a little better yeah, and this mass is all the way down there i did it wrong right so let's just bring it up to where it's supposed to be let's look at it from like the right view and you can see that this roof here is a little bit crazy so for now let's just go safe and have it to the highest point now we put our address here in Google Earth. It will zoom in in our area. So we can see that there's some buildings around that can probably affect my energy model, right? Like this tower right here. So you should be able to model those also in your site and identify what's our building and what are surrounding buildings. So I would say probably this building is going to be relevant and this building is probably a little relevant all these little houses are not going to be too relevant but this guy on the east is going to be relevant and maybe this guy on the west is going to be relevant so let's go ahead and quickly model those guys so i'm going to model this building i'm going to copy it over to this side i'm going to model this building and then this little piece as well If I wanted to, I could paste them into my mechanical model, copy to my clipboard, and come here and just paste a line to current view. Now I have those as part of my project. Alternatively, you could have tab selected the architectural model and it would have selected it. Actually, let's do it that way as well. Let's do undo. Now I don't have it. I could have tab selected like this. Just copy to the clipboard. I could do paste align to current view. And then now it's part of my model. Same thing with this, see? I do tab select, copy. And I paste align to current view. I do the same thing with this guy. Copy, align to current view. And the same thing with this guy. 
copy paste the line to current view now I can forget about this temporary file I'm gonna go to a 3d view and I can see all my massing elements here so how do we tell Revit that this is part of our model you know our building study and this is just context you know surrounding buildings peripheral buildings the way you do that is you click on your mass and you assign floors to it so you can come here to mass floors then you say that okay this has level one two and three and then click OK and now those floors have been assigned to that sector you do the same thing with this too you can actually do control select mass floors one two and three there you go and then for this little guy here we only have levels one and two so level one and level two perfect 